Hello and welcome guys to another tutorial. I'm Doombreaker and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, check if an email address is valid in uh, Visual Basic. So you can use this to, uh, I don't know, make an email application or um, I don't know, make a register form or something like that. So and we are going to do it using regular expressions. So uh, don't worry about what regular expressions is um, and don't be intimidated by this code. I'm going to post this code in the description uh, probably as a paste bin link uh, just to shorten stuff up but uh, let's debug it first. So let's say my email address is is this legit at Mailinator? If you don't know what Mailinator is, it's um, an email address server where you can just make up an email address and just look at it for, um, I don't know, if you want to um, regi register to something you don't trust fully because of spam or something, you can just use that. And uh, if we press check, it's going to say, email checked, is this legit at millinator.net is a valid email address. But if we type in trollolol, it's an invalid email address. And if you had your own mail server, so if I had um, admin, oh, um, admin, yes, at doombreaker. com so it's going to say it's a valid email address because it doesn't know um, it doesn't check if it really exists it just checks if uh, the basic structure of an email address is there so uh, yeah then let's go to the code um, to start we say imports system dot text dot regular expressions and then we are going to make a function so function email check by val email address as string as boolean uh, boolean means that it's going to return a true or a false statement which is pretty obvious i guess and um, then we say declare the pattern as a string and this is the basic pattern of an email address so um, as you can see it's it can be all those characters and then an at and then all those characters and all that stuff uh, so don't worry about it I'm going to post it in the description then um, declare email address match as a match is equal to regex which is a regular expressions dot match the email address with the pattern so um, yeah this is going to try to match the uh, email address with this expression and then we just say if uh, email address match dot success if it succeeded then there's going to show a message box saying that uh, everything is alright uh, else so if it's not a success then it's just going to show a message box that's saying uh, that the email address is invalid and it doesn't uh, exist or it's not a possible email address or something like that so yeah and in the button one dot click we just say declare my email as a string which is text box one dot text which is uh, where your email address is going to be typed and then email check which is the function with my email as the email address and then it's just going to do this if you want for example I'll put a label here and I say valid no, uh, let's say unchecked and put it there 
and we say um so we just remove this and we remove this and here we say return true because it is a success and you need to return true and here return false false yep and then here we can remove this and we can say if uh, what's it called I forgot the name of my function if email check email check with my email returns a true value then label one dot text is going to be valid email oh put that in brackets uh, not in brackets in the quotation marks uh, so label one dot text is valid email else label one dot text is going to be invalid email and what this is going to do it's just going to do the same thing but except of um, using oh this is label one whoops <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff you can get into if you start programming so label 2 and we say check this and it's going to say invalid email instead of showing a picture box and if I say blah blah at something dot com it's going to say valid email so uh, yeah that's it for today guys I hope you liked the video if you did please like the video below subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff if you like programming if you like um, design and if you like gaming and uh, I see you all next time bye